Day or night, high or low. In each round of the card game, day and night, players try to decide whether high or low numbers are more valuable based on the cards that everyone plays. And that can change instantly, possibly leaving you in the dark when it comes to scoring. Welcome to my review of the card game, day and night. Hey everyone, this is Hirtakos. Today I'm giving you my review of Day and Night by Piatnik, a card game with a highly interesting Day and Night mechanic that constantly changes how cards are scored. Let me first show you how to set up the game. The time card is placed in the center of the table with the sunny side up. Then the 108 cards are shuffled well. I already did that in advance. Depending on the number of player, a certain number of cards are removed from the game and placed back in the game box. With three players, for example, this is 30 cards. The remaining cards are placed in a draw pile next to the time card. Now each player receives seven cards, which they take face down into their hand, and we're ready to play. The game is played at rounds until the draw pile here is used up. A round looks like this. A player draws the top card from the draw pile and places it face up next to the time card. If the card shows a time symbol, like this one here, one must turn the time card over directly. I will explain what this is all about later. Next, each player chooses one card from the hand and puts it in front of them face down. When all players have done so, they, they all when all players have done so, they all then reveal the chosen cards simultaneously. For each revealed time symbol, the time card is flipped. So we have one time symbol all together here. So we flip the card back to the sunny side. Then this process is repeated a second time, with each player choosing and then revealing another card from the hand as well as flipping over the time card if applicable. So you see, we have another two time cards here, so we would flip the card twice, so we just leave it on the sunny side. Now the players determine who won the round. If the time card shows the sun, the color with the highest visible sum among all the cards played this round, including the card first revealed, is the winning color. If the time card shows the moon, then the color with the lowest sum wins. Now we check. In this example, this color has the highest sum with uh, 26, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is, this is the winning color because we have the sunny side up. Otherwise, with the lowest number, that color would have won. All players who have played at least one card in the winning color now collect any visible card and place it in front of them. So any one visible card. So that player hasn't played any of these and these two players have. I, for example, have played a 12, so I have the highest sum of that color. That means I can choose a color. I can choose a card and I will choose just my card here. And then that player will choose the one over here. I will tell you what that means in just a minute. You then remove all remaining cards from play, deal two new cards to each player and start the next round. The game ends when the deck is empty and players tally their score based on the number of stars on the cards they collected in front of them. The player with the most stars wins the game. And that is already day and night in a nutshell. So you see, it's a pretty simple game, but it has some intricate mechanics that make the game quite interesting. So what are my thoughts in regard to the game? The art style of this game is really nice. The illustrations are really beautiful. If I can be completely frank, this that was the main reason uh, I first wanted to play and review the game since I really like beautiful artwork in games in general. This game is really tense, although it doesn't seem like that at first, and I like that. You never know if it will be day or night when the winning card is determined. This also means that you don't know if you need to play a card with a time symbol. Will you go for a color with a low or with a high sum? Or will you try to go for both if possible? But then again, you have no idea what the other players are going to do. All of these unknown factors make the game really exciting and tense. Each game we had a lot of fun hoping for an outcome that would benefit us and let us choose a card for the end game scoring. The game plays relatively quick and is also quite easy to teach and very quick to set up. It does have a slight learning curve to understand how the day and night 
phases affect the outcome leading to the winning color. But as soon as players understand that concept, it's smooth sailing from here. There isn't a lot of constructive criticism from my side. The only thing to keep in mind is that this game is not of a strategic nature. It is, to some extent, tactical, but then again you can never really guarantee or 100% foresee what the other players will do. So if you don't want any luck in your games, this might not be quite the perfect fit for you. Also, we identified a little flaw in the robot. The amount of cars removed at the beginning of the game is not quite correct. For three players, it's 30 instead of 33 don't mind the german here and for five players it's six instead of three so that's a little mistake in the rule book pietnik already confirmed with me that this will be changed in new printings and also it is changed right now in their online rule book so i suggest looking at the online rule book too if you decide to play this game for yourself in summary we really enjoy playing the game especially we like the tense situations right before the second cards of each player were turned around since we never knew if you plan would come to fruition it's a card game i definitely recommend if you like games where the outcome is not guaranteed and the decisions of other players matter greatly. I know that I will play it much more often in the future. Alright, that concludes my small review of day and night. If you're still watching, thank you very much for sticking around until now. Why don't you swing by my channel? I'm sure that there is at least one other board gaming video that piques your interest. Okay, I'll see you soon. Cheers.